some fishy shit is happening on our beach. And my balls say we need to go over there and check it out. It's a bad idea, Mitch. We're lifeguards. My balls say it's just take it easy, right? Here. Well, my balls are saying fuck that noise. Let's go handle business. Your balls are bullies. What's going on, guys? Um, day watch. Let's talk about it now. I'm on the way home from working out. Perfect time to talk about Baywatch. It's beautiful out. It's like 72 degrees today. Let's talk about Baywatch stars The Rock, my favorite person on earth. Zach Efron. Uh, Pikra. You know what? I'm not going to say it because I know I'm going to fuck it up. Um, but she's in a very good show and I'll put the entire thing here. Don't remember what that show is though. I'll put the thing here. Um, it also st stars Kelly Robrach. Uh, John Bass and Alexander Dario and what this film is basically about We don't really need to get into a plot Here's what I'm gonna say The critics have been really bashing on this movie. They have really have it's getting really bad reviews and it's getting mostly panned and I have liked one movie that director um, Seth Gordon has made in its horrible bosses. He's also responsible for doing four Christmases and uh, the movie kind of scarred me a lot, which was Identity Thief. And Baywatch was easily one of my most anticipated films of the summer, and I had a blast with this movie. I thought this movie was great. Now, it's a guilty pleasure for sure. I can honestly say that. It's probably one of my all-time favorites now, because it kind of reminded me of Armageddon, where we know it's so fucking stupid. And it's just, it's something about that that really I love about this movie. Um, I have to talk about The Rock. Um, still, still is a movie. This in Fast Five, and I can't wait to see how he does in Jumanji, which I'm kind of a little curious about, noting I have more hopes for Jumanji because I'm very nervous about that movie. But on Baywatch, I love him. Mitch is a total badass, kind of like myself. And literally, when the movie opens up with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, literally bringing somebody out and the words Baywatch come exploding at the screen, you know it's going to be a stupid movie. This kind of reminds me of Rocky IV on how stupid a movie can be, but how this movie still is great. I had a lot of fun with this movie, and it's probably the funnest movie I've had in the theaters all year, next to Fast and Furious. So I, I, I think it's kind of that. Zac Efron gives the best performance I've seen in a very long time, um, probably ever. Alexander Dario was great. The whole cast is great. John Bash is really great. And I wasn't really looking forward to seeing John Bash because, John, because those kind of persons who are the humor don't really work out for me. And here he actually really worked out. Problems I have with the movie. Now, the humor is fantastic. And the humor, for me, hits a lot. There's sometimes, though, where the humor doesn't hit as well as I want it to, but I still had a blast with this film. Um, the green screen effects are pretty shitty. They're pretty bad. And the villain, played by Pira Chopra, is good at times, but she really is not convincing. There's some moments in this movie where I love, um, <laughs> such as, obviously, the refrigerator scene. Um, and you go in Night Night Bitch. Like, those stuff I love, and the movie is great, and the taint scene is amazing, by the way. Um, I kind of wish they saved some of that stuff for the theater. Besides that, I had a blast with Baywatch. It's a fun film. Is it incredible? No. It's a guilty pleasure for me, for sure. It kind of reminds me a lot of Armageddon. So I'm going to give the movie a four out of five. I think it's a blast. We need to search the morgue for evidence. Check his taint for needle marks. You want me to check his taint? Lift his fucking scrotum and check his taint. Dude, it's a taint, man. It's a taint. You didn't even look. Get closer. Ugh, it smells like yogurt. Oh, there is a hole. That's just his butthole. Smile. <laughs> post that. Do not post that. Just a handful of ball sack. So that's going to be it for my review of Baywatch. Look forward to Saturday for my review of Pirates of the Caribbean on Dead Man Tells No Tales. Um, also, if you guys like my intro for Baywatch, uh, look forward to this July. Me and Matt Bjerg are going to do a montage to kind of end the Baywatch montage thing we're doing. So thank you guys. See you guys later.